Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, as robots now work indoors, for example in our homes, um, it's important that they can find their location indoor. My recent project requires that the robot to find the people's location within a building. So to do so, I'm using the iBeacon technology. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect to the iBeacon using GAT tool and HCI tool with Raspberry Pi. Okay, now I'm going to write the code. First, I'm going to download the Blues library. For doing this, I am going to write this code. This code gets the latest blue source. Downloading this takes a while, so you will probably not get the same messages as these because they are already installed on my computer. Now I'm going to check if it's downloaded. So I am going to write this code. Okay, it's downloaded. Now I am going to extract the file that I have downloaded. After this, I am going to install its dependencies. Now I am going to go in the file that I have downloaded. Now I am in that file. So now I am going to run the configure. I am going to put a slash here. So now I'm going to compile and install the source. For doing this, I am going to write this code. Okay, so now I'm going to write this command. The install script does not copy GATL to your USR local bin directory. You must do it manually. After this, I am going to go to the Raspberry Pi's normal file. So now I'm going to check if my HCI tool can see my device. So for doing this, I am going to say HCI tool dev. It saw my device. After this, I'm going to um, locate the device is near me. So for doing this, I'm going to say sudo hci tool plus scan. It's all my device. 
after this, I'm going to press Ctrl Z to stop the program. So now I'm going to connect to my device. For connecting to my device, I am going to say sudo gato and I'm going to get my device's MAC address and I'm going to paste it here. So now it's now I'm in my device and I'm going to say connect. Connection successful. So I am going to look at my device's primary characteristics. So for doing this, I'm going to say primary. Now I can see my device's primary characteristics. You can reach all these commands from my GitHub page. You may find the link below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow my social media. Account.